Aztecs, leading enterprise telecom brand. Uh, cloud telephony. Now, okay. now uh, let me tell you the background why we started the Swati Kill. Okay, uh, most of the companies businesses are embracing new technologies to ensure there is a business continuity even when there is disruptions. For example, COVID is a classic example, as you know, whole world is affected by it. So what was normal earlier is not normal anymore. So we are come to terms as new normal. We call it as new normal now. Working from home or schools being closed, they're offline. Rather, I would say they're online now from offline. So this is actually a challenge for a business community. So everyone in the business tries to build an organization which is resilient, agile, futuristic, and adaptive to the, to the changing environment, business environment especially. So one such technology, what we see is cloud technology. In future, we see this playing a pivot role in communication industry. Now. Through this webinar, we shall try to understand what is cloud telephony, what kind of infrastructure is offered by Aztec Communications. Then we'll visit each and every product that we are offering on cloud. Then I'll just brief you on awards and recognitions and the advantage the customer gets being associated with Aztec. At the last, we will keep question and answer session and all your questions will be answered. Just make sure that whenever you have any doubt, you leave a comment in the chat box so that we can revisit them. Okay. Now, uh, without much ado, let me introduce you to the cloud telephony. What is cloud telephony, right? So <clears throat> it's a kind of infrastructure that is hosted in cloud. So you can read that here. The cloud telephone is a phone system that runs through your internet. It is also known as VoIP based hosted PBX solution. Now there is a new terminology used here. It's called as UCAS. As you know, there is IaaS, PaaS, SaaS. Now you have UCAS, Unified Communication as a Service. So UCAS is a model, meaning it brings various communication system and collaboration tools together. So what we mean here is we are not just moving the telephone lines to the cloud, but we are integrating with the various other things like your video conferencing, instant messaging, your CRM, your social media, and various business process across the board can be integrated. One more plus point is cloud telephony streamlines your businesses communication and grows with your business. Let's dive in and understand what are the advantages of cloud telephony. I would like to tell you here, people are looking for an ultra flexible, cost effective, easy implementation and easy adoption. And allows enterprises and organization to experiment with their ideas without incurring huge capital expenditure. And there are companies which also looks at the carbon footprints that they leave behind when they are in the process of doing business. So precisely cloud telephony is going to address all these concerns of enterprise or an organization. Okay. So now let's understand its future and its relevance. Okay. As per a leading management consultant in a consultancy firm, they predict businesses are going to invest in cloud telephony after they've finished investing on CRM. So the next big thing of investment for businesses is cloud telephony. And if I had to give you some numbers in 2020, the total business volume of cloud telephony stood at $19.1 billion and they expect it to grow to $65.1 billion in 2030. That is to say almost 13.5% of cumulative growth that we are expecting in this industry. Right. So let's I'll just try to give you brief on where all it could penetrate and could have an impact in the coming days. So first is, as everybody know, work from home. So <clears throat> 
the pandemic has proved that on premise solution is not so flexible enough to the changing environment so cloud telephony can give a platform wherein people can use internet access the same kind of data and resource and have the same kind of features and facilities sitting across the world so there's a better management of human resource they can work from anywhere in the world still they are connected to office so the first adoption you can see in work from home concept next empowering government agencies so you know like you take a um, municipal corporation or a tax office electricity board or any public service department people or citizens will approach them for a services or the aid right so we provide a brilliant opportunity to improve and strengthen the government interaction with its citizens next the startups in fact bangalore is the capital of startups so usually startup will have a shoestring budget we can give them a most affordable solution right next they look for scalability now i'll give you an example here there was a startup in bangalore called yulu bikes so they were experimenting with the last minute connectivity especially from metro to their houses or from a bus stand to their house so they were very successful and then they immediately jumped on and expanded pan india so that's all because of the cloud technology that they adopted so this is the second point a startup can look for the third would be reliability there is no business which can afford to have an outrage so in fact cloud telephony we promise almost 99.995% of uh, up time that is the kind of guarantee we give now coming to a small model business where the businesses are successful they know the product they have the know how they have technology everything but still they would not like to grow beyond their hometown because if they go in a traditional way they need to set up offices across the place where they are going they need to have a staff right they need to maintain so there is a lot of cost so it is not justified for them to expand that way but if they use this technology as a base they can expand to any heights they want i'll just give one example here suppose there is a company which is well known for uh, electrical appliances services now if they have established in one place and they are a known brand if they have to go to remote places they can just populate one virtual number and they can make their customers log into that number raise a complaint raise a ticket and they can have only a technician who is again controlled through our uh, products that we will be going through in little while and they'll have a streamlined process in place so the expansion becomes very easy for someone who is affected by cost otherwise okay now there are big companies usually what happens is they like to reach out to different demographics but the problem is unification of uh, communication let me give an example here like if you want to uh, your sms email whatsapp your uh, facebook instagram everything to be unified we have a concept called omni channel experience so we can integrate all this so that the companies can connect with its customers through any channel they want without being affected earlier days it was only through calls or mail now you can connect with social media and y2k kids obviously are glued to social media so there's no other better option than cloud telephony for them now now after knowing the relevance the future that is installed for us and benefits so let's get into knowing what kind of infrastructure does astex provide so i would like to tell you here we have hosted all our application in cloud a cloud which is data center managed by control s it is asia's largest tier 4 data center 
we hosted here because they have the expertise in area of data center management disaster recovery dedicated hosting virtual hosting online backup and cloud services and they give prominence to data security and our application online so they promise 99.95% of uptime and on records there is no downtime from the day of inception so, and they are managing six data four rated centers out of 28 in the world apart from that they also give a suite of offerings from platform service which include data center infrastructure storage backup hardware to os layer network and security layers so we had no need to look beyond them we are very happy to be associated with someone like this now let me get into the products that we are offering so our products i would like to tell you are multifunctional flexible scalable secure and reliable suite of products that we are offering so let me start my presentation with the first product that is cloud call center dialer a dialer is basically an application that automates dialing the numbers from the list and connecting it to the agent so we have built in features like automated call distributor call queues call control disposition codes integration of business tools like your crm your erp or pms call recording call monitoring where we beg to differ on cloud is skill based routing Usually on-premise solution give you skill-based routing, but it is within the premises. But in our case, we can route the application, like the calls to multiple locations. They need not be connected or they need not be seated in one office. They could be spread across geographically, but doesn't matter. We would be able to connect them. Now, you know, most of the companies, they have 50% of staff working from the house and 50% of the staff working from the office. So here again, we give the ultimate flexibility of monitoring each individual agent. It doesn't matter from where they log in. And cloud-based uh, contact centers are engineered to work across a variety of devices and operating system that can give you a real-time report irrespective of the system they are using. So when it comes to cloud center dialer, I would say the cloud call center dialer stands out over the premises. So we have two kind of architecture. I'd like to brief you. If somebody is starting their office newly, then we can provide the entire solution. That is to, that is to say like the trunk line and the application will be hosted by us and they can start using from day one. So they will be paying as they go. And there is the second model called hybrid model. In this situation, probably it's an established company. They want, they are looking for only a cloud application to be provided by us, but they already have a trunk line. In that case, we can integrate the trunk line. So any calls that comes to trunk line will be diverted to cloud. From there, it gets routed to different agents across the city okay now let's move on to the second product that is cloud ip pbx solution so what is cloud ip pbx it is like a cloud phone system is a vivo ip phone system that is accessed over a cloud ip network okay so it comes with its own benefits it can unify unified communication international calling with vivo ip different time zone based calling flexible and scalable integrated with third party application as i already told like your crm erp or pms etc easy to configure and manage you can have a video and audio conferencing fax support voicemail to email support and in cloud it is easy to pick a virtual number and discard them and the last, the most interesting part would be loss of internet or a catastrophic event has no effect on operations. So 
we have been talking about cloud we keep telling like we are connected through uh, connected to cloud through ip internet protocol but now i am saying that if there is no internet also it is not a problem i'll tell you how it is it has a built in redundancy for example as i told you the cloud is connected to multiple offices so even if one office goes down the calls can be routed to a different office by the admin right it's a built in redundancy let's hello, understand with hello ha huh? hello yeah, yeah please okay okay i think there is some disturbance sorry about it <clears throat> okay now, now let's understand this with uh, one small example suppose uh, you are a health insurance company and a customer calls up in an emergency he calls up an office probably bangalore office which is disconnected now there is three options available with admin one is he can route the call to a different city and he can still support the customer the second would be he will route that call to the concerned person's mobile number the third one would be a voicemail will be converted into email and sent immediately to the concerned department so they can access and start giving the services so that means to say even in case of any loss of internet in particular one particular office you still do not suffer in servicing the customer so that is the advantage we bring into the table now after this let's move on to the third product that is our voice logger cloud based voice logger a voice logger is a program used to record audio information from telephone radio microphone and other sources for storage on devices which it could be computer hard drive or removable media now as you all know voice logger is a built in feature for uh, your call center dialer and ip pbx but here there are instances where you can market it separately i'll come to it now no there are industry verticals where government agencies have told them to monitor and record all the calls so they need not go for an ip pbx nor a call center let's take an example of stock brokers in india sebi has mandated that every stock broker is supposed to record all the calls only to make sure that the orders placed are genuine and can be verified tomorrow so there is no rigging in the market at the same time i'd like to give one more example here about an health insurance especially when you buy a health insurance online there is a third party verification in the form of a voice logger i would say where you need to authenticate that with your name your date of birth and you also need to tell them that you have voluntarily chosen this uh, probably the family floater or whatever uh, you have chosen and you need to authenticate it only then the contract will be released in your name by the contractor so that means to say voice logger is an independent application which can cater to lot of business verticals okay so let's move on to the next product that is cloud based ivr so ivr is basically you can understand it as an automated phone system technology that allows incoming callers to access information via a voice response system of pre recorded message without having to speak to an agent as well as to utilize menu options via touch tone keypad selection to have their call routed to specific department or specialist now where all we can see this application so first is automatic booking service so those who are in india are familiar because uh, most of them do gas booking through ivr so their home cylinders are booked through ivr and i would like to tell you here that we have uh, helped one of the petroleum company to have this ivr fixed for them so any booking goes through that is through our ibr i would say we are proud of that actually next when it comes to banking sector there are a lot of things which can be automated you don't need an agent to answer i'll give an example like whether it is um, your balance inquiry or uh, 
request for a checkbook or cancellation of a check or upgradation of your card all this and many more can be integrated to ivr so that it doesn't go to an agent it comes to ivr and ends in ivr next the third one would be in healthcare sector so in fact in one of the hospitals we have already tested and tried this and it is working fine so the patients they call up the hospital they select the doctor they want and they select the time of appointment and it is all auto done without any agent being a part of it now this also goes well with the uh, e-commerce websites so e-commerce website people can check the status of the booking or refund or cancellation but there is one more option here like you pay at the time of delivery right usually when you book a product on e-commerce and say pay after delivery they always authenticate it whether you booked it or somebody else has done a prank right so ivr has a immense opportunity to be a stand alone product now in the kitty the next one would be the cloud voice blast a voice blast is basically a method of mass communication that allows you to make automated phone calls to large number of audience in one shot so you can use it for alert customer feedback survey campaign or announcement all this so let me just give you a couple of examples so that uh, we have a better connectivity with the product the first one is i would like to say india being a democratic country any given point of time there will be elections either for lok sabha vidhan sabha or panchayat or any corporation for that matter so imagine a candidate instead of spending the amount that he spends usually spends a very minuscule amount and uses our service to reach out the prospective voters it's a beautiful campaign method which is futuristic the same way i can think of uh, one more example that does like a showroom or a mall when somebody visits they buy something or they leave a phone number without buying you can always send a automated voice message to find out how was their experience was it good or not you can find out from them and if there is any suggestion you can always incorporate and make your company a customer friendly so people would love that actually now that i've done with this products there is four more product with my colleague mr pratik will be taking through so over to you mr pratik hello you, yeah hello to everyone i think uh, hope you are enjoying the presentation uh, made so far uh, where martin has taken uh, effort in explaining this product uh, uh, in detail <laughs> i'll try to continue this uh, and i'll try to explain uh, four more feathers that uh, in our cloud offerings that we we have made uh, first of them uh, is popularly known as ast dial and most of you who have been partner with us from last 3 4 years uh, they already know about this product however i am going to explain you a small overview about it so this est dial is basically an outbound dial dialer that uses the smartphone the android phone to make calls to customer now this uh, during this last two years of pandemic this is one of the most innovative product that has been had this is also appreciated by a lot of our customers who were earlier in the uh, process of uh, dialing to the uh, dialing to the call center setup that we have provided but due to conditions like lockdown overnight they have to shift working from home so when they asked us to help them out uh, it took us maximum 90 minutes to uh, create a setup for them so yes this is an outbound dialer or a call center setup which can be done uh, within 90 minutes a small shift a span of time uh, in which all your uh, telecallers are ready to make the call now this is a unique tool which help a uh, unique tool which helps uh, especially lead generation sales and uh, follow up team now it, it's a very useful tool because uh, what we are doing here is we are eliminating any it requirement that's true with any uh, uh, cloud product but here we are eliminating any it requirement that is required from the 
client's end. That is to dial all these customers, uh, their team requires only the Android phone. Uh, they get the data one by one on their Android phone. They can dial them and they can dispose on their mobile devices itself. Now, uh, we are eliminating any Excel file, computer, notepad or pen requirement also for uh, uh, them to manage all these data. It, it's, uh, uh, as I said, that uh, basically it uh, offers a few kinds of dialing mod model, models or modes, uh, preview and auto dialing being one of them. That means this data from the cloud start displaying on their uh, mobile screen. Uh, they can choose to click that dial button to initiate the call or they can also set uh, an auto dialing mode where uh, they need not to click this dialing button again and again and the system dials on its own so this is how a uh, 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 long data can be dialed automatically plus uh, there are processes where system does not provide any data to the telecaller telecallers are asked to search over the internet dial few customers Yet the management wants to see the reports on that. For that, we have the manual dialing option as well. Now this manual dialing, auto dialing, or preview dialing options can be set up by the admin who controls the admin panel, a web-based system. So there are two things. One is the Android app used by the telecaller. Second is the web-based uh, uh, admin panel controlled by the admin. Admin is responsible to upload the data uh, 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 using CSV files, so uh, bulk uploading is possible. Uh, they can categorize the data, uh, uh, assign it to different campaigns. These campaigns can further assign to either an individual or to the group based on how um, uh, this admin would like uh, dialing to happen. When these dialings are happening, looking at their screen, they can see the real time participation of their team members. That means who is dialing, who is, uh, 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 or how long they've been dialing, what, what is the connected and not connected status, it means how many calls they have made, connected, not connected so far for the day. So we call it real-time uh, display for the admin. So imagine uh, uh, using this uh, mobile dialer when the team is uh, uh, sitting in their home, basically, or maybe at different places. And in fact, uh, this, this admin person also, uh, is sitting at his home with his uh, laptop open. This person has a clear view of what exactly his team is doing. Uh, again, the admin panel coming to it, uh, we have some beautiful screens, uh, uh, graphs, which allow you to uh, uh, you know, uh, get some analytics, graphics on how the lead is performing, that is your data is performing, how different kind of campaigns that you have created has performed, and how these telecallers have performed based uh, uh, on the, their login time, their interaction time and then uh, uh, their dispositions made. Apart from the the admin panel or where the, the uh, uh, web based uh, uh, admin where you have to log in, in case there are some senior management uh, who do not log in very frequently for them, we have daily, weekly, and monthly reporting system by email. This means they get all this uh, performance review, a, a consolidated view of this performance review uh, sent directly to their email ID so that they can have the logs, they can have the reviews uh, coming to their email. Uh, some of the new, for, uh, new, new features that we have introduced in our outbound dialer uh, are, uh, are Google Form and uh, notification services. Maybe Google Form, I try to uh, uh, explain in a little bit of detail. What happened when you are using a, a mobile application or an Android application uh, to collect the data of your customer? Uh, you are mostly restricted by the number of form or number of fields that you can capture. This means, let us say, I, I provide you some three or four fields to capture the customer uh, uh, details about his requirement, his budget, or maybe how soon the requirement he would like to close it. Uh, some three fields are there. But these three fields are never limited when you go uh, uh, to different clients. Everyone has their own uh, set of data requirements. Uh, uh, so this means uh, uh, they always want a little bit more. And when we are creating an Android application and storing on a Google Play Store, it is not easier for us also to uh, uh, keep changing these fields when, as and when the customer comes. So to 
strike a balance. What we did, we are including now the power of Google Forms into our product. If you know what Google Form is, this means you can create n number of or infinite number of fields to capture to be captured for your data when you are connected to a customer. And during each call, you can open up that form. You can fill that form based on customer interaction, and you can close the call and the form uh, with every call. Now you can move ahead for the next call and again uh, open a new form and insert the data. All these capturing that you have done will be available into your Google Drive account because you have start filling in the form. Now uh, I need not to say is uh, number one Google form because it's a product from Google. Uh, 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 all the analytical part, all the data security part, all the availability part, or in fact the, the flexibility part is one which is offered by the Google. So we are harnessing the power into our product and I mean, so I mean we are allowing people to use that as well. Similarly, SMS and WhatsApp, because you are using that device, uh, the Android phone. And uh, apart from the calling, these two are the features which you already use more with your phone. So why not uh, we use these two uh, features as well to notify uh, your customer when you have called. So after each call, we ask our telecaller in case they would like to send a notification in terms of SMS or WhatsApp to their customers. And if yes, they can choose to write or select from a predefined template, again, a part of uh, your phone's functionality only. So each phone has uh, some templates which they can write and register. So what you are doing is you're selecting one of those templates and sending SMS or WhatsApp to your customer, maybe after each call. Again, if you want to get it automated, this also can be done from the backend side because uh, the, the web-based uh, admin panel that we were talking about is actually based on a CRM, a, a, a CRM which maintains your customer data and if required, can be enhanced into a complete system uh, to maintain customer related, uh, complete uh, CRM uh, uh, solution, okay? Uh, so this is how ISDAL works. Uh, some of the industrial example which I would like to share where it has been more more popular are, uh, I think microfinance will be the one segment where loan, insurance, uh, I think payment collections, uh, credit card, these teams are using uh, uh, more of our services. I, I think ed education industry is also one of the segments where we have sold most of the uh, subscriptions. So, if you are from one of the industry or you serve these industries, I would like to say that this is something which uh, uh, they, they can uh, you know, accept readily. And this is how, uh, what we have experienced with the uh, market right now. Okay, uh, moving to our next product in this, uh, uh, in this flow, we call it click to call. Okay, uh, I, I think name itself is sufficient to explain that uh, you are clicking on something to make a call. Now this, uh, uh, we have a, a little bit different approach in designing of this product. Here we are not saying that we will give you something. Here we are saying that in case you or your client has something, how they can modify it. So let us say most of a well-established company, they have a system to maintain their customer data. Maybe their ERP, CRM, BI or accounting software. These are the tools which any established company has to have it because that's how they maintain the customer database. Now, we do not uh, uh, want them that because of some of our bringing, they have to change that platform or they have to change the processes. How we are saying we will use that existing system and we can give them a uh, uh, you know, a, a provision to convert or to modify or upgrade it into a full-fledged college center system. This means a small script of us can be integrated with their existing uh, ERP or CRM. They can have the data of their customer as usual. And whenever they are clicking on a, any customer profile or a phone number available, that small script that we have given to them actually indicates our uh, cloud-based calling solution that, okay, this user wants to connect with that customer. So we have two information, uh, uh, user's phone number and customer phone number. 
Now from our cloud, we make two lakh of calls. First lakh goes to the user phone number. It can be its, uh, it can be his mobile phone, uh, which can be either Android, iOS, or can be, uh, in fact, uh, the old age uh, black and white phone also. It can be a landline phone. It can even be a, an IP phone or soft phone in, within his computer. So now, again, we are also talking about uh, in the first leg call is going. It is independent on the, of the device that you are using because this device is only receiving a call. The call is initiated from our uh, 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 cloud uh, calling solution. When this user picks that call, second call again from our cloud uh, or second leg, which we call, goes to the customer. The customer picks the calls. We merge, uh, merge these two calls, and yes, uh, now the regular discussion can happen. The beautiful beauty of this solution is uh, this telecaller was continued to use the system that company was using. So no training is required. They continue to see the customer historical data into the same system they've been using. Number three is when they finish the call, again, the data or the status update has to happen in the same system which they which, which was in front of them, which is not ours. It is there. So whole thing of or whole thing that what we are trying to do is here is you continue to use your system, whereas our backend system makes it more powerful in terms of communication. So we'll bring communication over there. What more? Uh, we are providing a beautiful voice logger on the cloud. Uh, in case you would like to access the uh, voice files of the discussion made, uh, you will be given a username and password. Uh, for the uh, uh, quality control part. So yes, uh, this is one solution that we call as click to call. Moving ahead. So the two products that we I have explained you was mostly for outgoing part. That is as dial from your mobile phone, you are making a call. And from click to call, again, from your CRM or ERP, you're clicking somewhere to make an outbound process. Now for businesses, that has inbound uh, call also important or inbound call can bring business uh, uh, to them. Now for them, we have something called reception as the reception. Okay, so basically it's a virtual reception should we can call. The objective is very clear. It collects the call and it redirects to any number that you will give it. Okay, so what it's happening is your business can, display, can have a display number. Now this display number can receive all the calls. Number one, you can run a, for a strong welcome message. So this means now suddenly the customer calling you, they, they feel like they're calling a, 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 a strong brand. You can play a punchline, you can have a strong welcome messages. You can also play some kind of uh, offers you are running so that anyone who's calling you, they know whom they are interacting with. Now once this uh, welcome message is offered over, you can, published uh, some, or you can play some kind of IVR where uh, these customers are allowed to make choices. So what it is doing, it is filtering out the traffic for you. Instead of uh, transferring all the calls to the single person, it is asking press one for, uh, let us say sales department, press two for the support department, press three for the logistic department. The people who, are, who would like to reach that particular department uh, will be forwarded. Now once, they make the choices. When the customer makes the choices, the call will land to the phone number which uh, uh, we have received for that particular choice. So it can be any mobile number, again, a uh, landline number. It works anyway. So you can route this call to any specific number. You can route this call uh, based on IVR selection that we have sent. And you can route this call based on uh, the time duration also. Uh, what I mean is a lot, lot of company has shift time. This means if I am working for a company, I may not want to receive all the calls 24 by 7 myself. What if I my shift ends in eight hours and after that someone else has, uh, has this job to take over. So that can be taken care within the system itself that you decide that during what time, start time to what end time, which phone number has to be called. In fact, there are a lot of organizations which would like to have the holiday shifts that maybe Saturday, Sunday, it should land to a different person. So these can these all things can be configured using uh, as the dial reception. Now, this was the front end part. 
from again the system also has the admin panel uh, 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 which allows you number one to give you all the missed call alerts this means the admin will have list of all the phone numbers which your people have missed apart from the admin we also run a small uh, regular email alert uh, which goes every two hours to the admin email id stating that okay in last two hours these have the uh, phone these are the phone numbers which try to reach you but it got missed so if if any call which is important to your business uh, you can call them back uh, because uh, we are capturing all the incoming calls for uh, details that is what time they have called or what option in IVR they have pressed, we can also give you a complete smoke traffic analysis. This means uh, which of your vertical or which of your IVR options are getting most of the traffic, which of your user is attending most of the call. So these are the things which are important for you to decide whether you should add more uh, resources uh, for your business to handle more and more calls. Again, we have something unique in nature, which uh, uh, if those who are familiar with PBX and uh, call center dialer, uh, I'll know this thing. This is called a sticky agent. Uh, those who do not know, I'll try to explain them. The sticky agent is a concept which is given uh, in call center dialer that in case the customer is calling back the call center, we give the priority to the last agent he has spoken to. So this means, yes, if the state agent is busy, the customer can connect to another agent available. But if that agent is available, the customer always get priority with this agent. And why it is required? This is required mainly for the two reasons. Number one, what if that last call was disconnected un, uh, 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 disconnected abruptly? This means that conversation was not yet over. And because of whatever uh, 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 whatever technical problem, the call got disconnected. Now the customer calls again, and he gets connected again with the same agent. So the customer need not to start the entire uh, entire discussion from the beginning or level zero. He can always progress with this discussion. So you are reducing the time required to close a call. Number two. Uh, when a customer talks to the person or to a talks to the known person and yet your agent is talking to the customer that he knows, the interactions are always more productive. So in less time or less duration of the call, you are delivering more productive communication. So this is what Sticky Agent does for you. So we have that solution as well. And, uh, 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 and as usual, we have a voice logger in the cloud which will allow you to download all the voice files for the quality improvement purposes. This is what our s dial reception would be. The best example that I would like to come up with uh, uh, is basically any car showroom or sales and service center that you will try to call. So the moment you call, they greet you. That is what we call as welcome message. Uh, once you call, they play an IVR. That is, you can book uh, your visit for buying a, a car. You can uh, book a support where you can take your car for the maintenance. And you can also reach to their accessories division where you can ask for particular accessories, their, their rates and charges and all that thing. So now they do not want you to, uh, no, your calls to jump between the company. They want you to lend to their IVR system and then connect to the right person. Couple of slides before, if you remember, uh, uh, Mr. Manjunath has already explained you an IVA cloud based IVR solution. How that IVR solution is different from as the reception? The IVR solution alone allows someone to call and make a selection based on IVR given. And that's where the uh, process ends. Whereas as the reception allows them, uh, allows the customer to make the selection. And based on making of that selection, it forwards the call to the concerned person. So these are the basic example. So we can move to next slide, please. <coughs> okay, uh, last uh, in my uh, uh, kitty was uh, uh, as track. Okay, this uh, basically is not a telecommunication solution, but uh, however, uh, because we are dealing with uh, 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 mobile technology here, uh, we are bringing the same technology 
to improve the productivity and this time for the field team. So productivity of the field team can be improved using the mobile device as well. Okay, uh, that is what where we have tried to uh, come up with an offer. So in case you have a sales team, a support team or a delivery team, which has to step out of the office. Now you can all relate to a common problem that is you do not know what is happening outside this office until and unless the person comes back and submits his report. So your understanding uh, for whatever activity happening outside the office is more or less related with the report submitted by your team members who were outside the office. Now, what we are saying is uh, what we can reduce this gap. The submitting of report should not happen maybe at the end of the day or end of the week. How about submitting of the report system takes care at that instant itself. So what we are saying is uh, uh, these people who go outside the office, they generally carry their mobile phone. They have to install one Android application. They log in, number one. They go outside uh, meeting a person, number two. They find someone more uh, prospective, they can click a picture, number three. Either they are delivering a product or uh, collecting uh, a, a payment, they can again capture this picture, number four. Number five, if they're going for a uh, break, uh, they can declare it. And number six, uh, they could be possible that uh, they want to log out maybe uh, from the field itself. I was in meeting since morning 9 a.m. to evening 6 p.m. Now, instead of going back to office and update my manager, I would know what like to log out from the field itself. So I log out from the field. Now, from 1 to 6, that is login, meeting, capturing of the photos of uh, 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 capturing of the photos of uh, what I can say that uh, 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 the location which can be uh, your future perspective, capturing of the product that is delivered, payment collection, and log out. All these things we update back into the system, the admin panel, along with date, time, and the location coordinate. Now, the location coordinate actually converts itself from the coordinate to Google address. And what you are going to see is the, uh, the address of that place in Google Map. So uh, you will always get a proper address. Also from point A to point B, the distance covered by that person we are going to capture so that now you know how this person has traveled for that day, how many distance he has covered, uh, 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 how many meeting he has uh, done. And we also have the options about uh, when he has completed that uh, these meetings, uh, what was the purposes? Uh, uh, every meeting has a purpose. So we have some predefined input of these purposes. All these data are saved in an admin panel. Now you can take out reports on each person's their meeting done, uh, uh, the distance covered, uh, all the meetings that is done for a particular purpose. In fact, the expenses also you can fill out. So these are the details that we go give back to the admin person. Also, uh, we have a parallel app which we call as Astrim, where if you are a manager and you want to see entire team what they are doing at a particular given time, you can just log into that app and how you see either Ola or Uber showing all their cars near you. You can see on a live Google map all your employee or all your team members where they are, where just a click on that Google map can connect you with that uh, person with a phone call. So that is also included. Uh, number three, when we are talking about all the details are uploaded back to an admin panel, we are saying this admin panel creates the log of all the customers as well. So now uh, your field person can leave the company, can leave the job, but uh, the data of the customer that he has visited or the data of the meeting that he has completed are going to be always there in your panel. Now you have customer data in your panel. That customer, for reason, sometimes call your office and he wanted to meet uh, with one of your team members. You receive that call and you realize that there is already a person in the field. What you have to do is, again, in the same admin panel, how about you can assign the task 
and it will start reflecting on the field person on their uh, mobile application. So we are here talking about two way of updating. Number one, uh, from the admin, uh, from from the application to the admin panel, what field agents been doing? So whenever they meet someone, whenever they do an activity in the field, they update from the app to the admin. Similarly, when admin would like to assign a task to the field person, they update the admin panel and that is started reflecting on their mobile phone. So this is how these things can be done. You can assign the task in the meeting. So different kind of team uh, can capture different kind of activities. For example, this team can actually capture their meetings, delivery teams can uh, pick up uh, 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 and delivered items, the proof of payment, uh, these things can be captured by images and then uh, bring it to their admin panel. And in fact, if you have a support team, so all the installation done, support services and support provided to your customer can be captured using this particular tool and uh, uploaded in the admin, uh, which creates a record of all your activities happening in the field. So these were the few of, uh, products that was uh, developed uh, for the cloud uh, uh, along with the SCRM team. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, definitely I would like to answer them at the end of the session. Over to you, Mr. Manjula. Thank you. Mr. Manjula, you're on mute. Please unmute. Okay. Uh, now I'm audible. Yes. Hello. Yes, this first. Hello. For the same, madam. Am I yes. audible? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, and uh, is my screen shared? Are you able yes. to see? Yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for the confirmation. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Pratik. It was a wonderful presentation. We have now gone through all the products that we are offering on cloud. I'm sure that you have a brief idea of what is available from Aztecs stable, right? Now it's time to reflect back on the history to see what are the kind of recognition and awards that we have got for servicing the society. Okay. Is it? Just give me a minute. Let me share it with the presentation. Okay. So <clears throat> coming to awards and recognition, I would like to say Aztex is an ISO certified company with 9001, which talks about the quality management system that we follow. And we have a 14001, which talks about the environment management system and 27001, which talks about managing information and data security, which is more apt for the cloud business. Now, we also featured by CIO as one of the 20 promising contact center technology solution provider. And in 2016, we also got featured as Silicon India brand of the year. So even in red herring, we were among the top 100 companies in Asia and went on to become the top 100 companies globally to be recognized. So the list actually goes on and on. Now, let me dive into what we are offering to customers. What are the advantages customers get being associated with us? First is you build your confidence by knowing that we have so many accolades from the society. Second, Personally, we can give you 24 by 7 customer support and all the products that we give is open source and license free. That means we are not charging anything as a license fee. The third most important thing would be we will be able to integrate with third party applications. So if you are using something right now, it will not become redundant for you. You can still continue to use and we will integrate our products with it. We come with 15 plus years of experience. We have our presence in 25 plus countries. We have our offices in 20 plus countries. So this alone, the statistics alone can give the positive vibes to the customers to be associated with us, right? So if you have any requirement, 
feel free to reach out to me. This is my number. This is my email ID, manjunath at, or rather g dot manjunath at astics.com. And this is our office address. Now, if there's any questions, we will try to visit one by one. Uh, Ms. Pradoshi? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you, can Mr. you coordinate? Manjuna. Yeah, Mr. Manjuna, yeah. thank you so much. And Mr. Pratik, thank you so much for a wonderful presentation and uh, sharing yeah. us all about our cloud offers uh, uh, by Astix. Now, uh, let's yeah. move on to the questions one by one, to, just to answer all yeah. the queries. Uh, and just yes. for a reminder, if anyone has any query, please drop in the chat box or just raise your hand or just unmute yourself and uh, you can ask the question. So uh, the first question has come from Epen. Epen, uh, if you're online, you can unmute and would you like to read out your own questions? Yeah, I think uh, Firdoshi, we will uh, read that. I okay, think, uh, fine. Uh, that the is... first question was uh, from Epen saying, is the cloud telephony available across the regions and the countries? Yeah, I think uh, uh, one minute. Uh, okay, so now uh, we have a lot of, uh, you know, international uh, uh, customers, uh, partners have joined in this call. So during the presentation, somebody might, uh, you know, might have got a doubt that what is, we have to offer for them okay so now uh, the question also is uh, you know related to that how this cloud telephony uh, solution can extend in your respective regions um, see now um, in the presentation uh, he was explaining we have pure cloud and uh, the hybrid cloud uh, one challenge what we have uh, for those my voice is clear right yes 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 yeah, so yeah so the one challenge when we uh, currently our infrastructure is in India, as uh, Manjunath mentioned, it is hosted in a controlless data center. But for international, um, uh, uh, we have a hybrid model where, for example, we have a requirement of a cloud solution in Nigeria. So the trunk will be on premise and the application will be on the cloud. Okay, so we connect, for example, if, if the customer is using a PRI line, uh, their office is in Nigeria and they wanted to use the PRI line. So the PRI line, normally what happens, a lot of these countries, we have the, the VoIP regulations. So the countries where their VoIP regulations are free, countries like US, Canada, UK, all these places, then we have a cloud solution. You can, the VoIP, the, 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 the virtual numbers and virtual DIDs can be directly configured to our cloud and they can use it. But wherever we have a reg regulations and restrictions where the trunk has to be within the country. So the example, Nigeria, the trunk line, PRI line has to be in Nigeria. So we give a gateway there to connect the trunk line and that gate gateway will be our internet trunked with our cloud platform. So we call it as an hybrid model. Uh, where the trunk is on premise and the uh, application is on the cloud. So this uh, architecture can be extended to any countries for our call center and IPPBX solution. But at the same time, we have a range of solution which is ready, ready to be used in other countries. For example, uh, many of the product which Mr. Pratik has explained, Asdial, Asdial Plus, uh, then Astrack, all these solutions are uh, can be deployed because there is no uh, dependency uh, from individual countries. So these solutions can easily be deployed without much uh, challenges in any of the uh, uh, international territories. The same way the, uh, the, 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 the voice logger, the IP voice logger also can be deployed with the, without much challenges in any of uh, these countries. So in short, uh, to conclude, so um, for international cloud, currently it's an hybrid model when it comes to call center and IPPBX and other uh, cloud offerings like Asdial, Asdial Plus, and Astrack, those range of products, it's a straightforward we can implement in any international countries. At the same time, to request to our partners is that we are looking for uh, partners to host in the particular countries our cloud platform. For example, in Nigeria or Tanzania or in Kenya or in South Africa, if our partners are willing to uh, associate to launch the 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 the, uh, the local cloud. Uh, solution in those in those respective countries they are open uh, they can write to us and we can get into a you know uh, uh, cost advantage uh, market study and uh, you know uh, try to come up with a solution in respective regions hope uh, i answered that question yeah thank you mr binish okay. i hope the question has been answered 
Okay, let's move on to the next question. The question is from Mr. Ram Murthy. Mr. Ram Murthy, you can unmute and uh, start your video. Uh, would you like to read your questions? Uh, or or uh, I should read uh, read the questions. The question uh, is, yeah, I Mr. Ram Murthy, are you available? Mr. Ram Murthy? Yeah, maybe let us Yeah, I'll read out the questions. Question. Uh, yeah, the question is, does all these products comes as a portal where admin and asin can see all the information similar to CRM? Okay, one minute. Uh, does all this product comes as portals? As portals okay. where admin and asin can, can see all the information similar to CRM. Yeah, so um, see, uh, uh, Ramurthy sir, thank you for this question. Uh, but see, we have different products. One is IPPBX. So IPPBX, uh, the user will be a just a just an extension. But admin can see uh, the all the the users and what all you know the right. configurations, everything. The admin can see. But when it comes to call center, call center has an agent interface, so agent can see the calls in queue. See the the same premise call center and premise IPPBX. What we have, the same application will be on the cloud. So, which is available um, with those product will be available in the cloud as well. So, specifically ask your questions. Uh, it 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 depends. So, the admin can see how many people are there, how many calls are there, everything. But agents, if it is on a PBX, it's just an extension. So, you can just ma manage this extension, make and receive calls. But when it comes to call center, call center has got an agent interface, and we can see agent status and calls in queue and all the other call related activities which you can do on the uh, agent screen yeah so i think uh, yeah uh, ramu sir if you are there available uh, we can have a discussion if otherwise we consider uh, you know uh, we answered it thank you Hello. mr Benish. yeah yeah, yeah hi hi mr ramurthy please uh, unmute and uh, start your video so that we can have a further discussion yeah thank you so much So uh, I hope. Uh, uh, no. I hope... So basically, you are saying then uh, it is PBX you are giving in cloud. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. yes. yes, it's PBX and uh, the call center. It is call center, but when it comes to uh, the 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 as to receptionist as dial and as dial plus the other products, so that is a separate application that has got these features. Okay. Okay. So I think you have yeah. uh, a few more questions. Okay, yes, anyway, yes. we can go to the next question. Yeah, our uh, next question is Mr. from Mr. Amulya. Uh, he said, uh, basically, the query is related to one of his existing customers who is instructed to set up a pure cloud. Uh, only request is, can we give a number with Mumbai STD prefix or a, mo a mobile number to display? Yeah. So, um, uh, uh, to answer his question, um, uh, see the one one beauty is that currently uh, we can give the mobile as their BID number because uh, we have tie up with companies like Vodafone, where they will provide the mobile number over a SIP trunk or a PRI channel. So, to answer his question, uh, uh, we can provide uh, the mobile number as their display or a DID number. And uh, the uh, the the, uh, the STD uh, or the landline number in that landline uh, number case, yes, we can provide certain certain uh, service providers will provide uh, the, the the DID services across the state. So we can provide even the Mumbai DID uh, you know, uh, numbers as well. Thank you. So we can provide both uh, landline as well as mobile as their DIDs. Thank you. Thank you, Vinus. Thank you, Mr. Binish. Uh, okay, let's move on to the next question. Again, this uh, question is come from Mr. Ram uh, The question is, in click to call, what will be the term location? Is this Bangalore? Uh, I think this answer could be better answer, answered by Mr. Pratik. Yeah. Mr. Uh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, Mr. Ram I think uh, you have guessed it right. Uh, for a pure cloud scenario that was explained by uh, uh, Manjula Ji also, that in a period scenario, scenario where the customer is dependent entirely on us, the trunk location will be in Bangalore. But however, we are not dependent on it. If, uh, yes, uh, if customer is, is willing to have its own trunk. Uh, no, uh, no. Can... <clears throat> uh, the question is, can you click to call dial and ask dial reception? 
No, the first one question. Oh, the first okay. question. Yeah. Yeah. This. Yeah, there are multiple questions. The first question is, can it click to call what will be the ground locations? Uh, it will be in Bangalore or uh, where is the location? Yeah. I think Pratik, uh, I think, go ahead. I think you are in on track. Yeah. So, sir, I have explained. I have you understood it. Uh, no, no, you are saying it is for uh, when I say complete cloud, it is Bangalore. Yes, it is. Ah, Bangalore. yes. Okay. Pure cloud, it is Bangalore. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, second question of, uh, is uh, can we merge, click to call an S S that reception in the single platform? Okay. So that is a new request. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sir. Uh, as you have seen that we now already have a lot of solution coming in. So maybe the cloud PBX can be the uh, uh, solution that you are looking for. <clears throat> so why I'm, I'm, I'm saying is, uh -huh. see, uh, now the things have changed a lot. It is not like only incoming, only outgoing. Right. Okay, so most of the places people will be looking for both incoming and outgoing. Maybe if you look at the percentage, maybe 50% will be looking for uh, both. Maybe some 25% looking only outbound and 25% only for looking for inbound. In that scenario, having two different platforms may not be a, a right, uh, uh, this one, solution. <laughs> okay, uh, Unless my uh, customers, just... most of the customers, I think uh, 70 to 80% of the customers are having both incoming and outgoing uh, uh, as the requirement. Maybe some 20% uh, is, that is purely who are into that credit card sales and uh, that uh, loan, uh, this one, they're into the outbound. And again, they will not be our customers. Very, very, very few will be our customers because they're, uh, uh, this one will be very low. They will do with some freelance or something, something they will be doing. So they will not come to us also. So that is the thing because most of my customers are in corporate and uh, that kind of customers where both will be there. Okay, sir. Maybe I trying to answer it in very easy words, sir. Uh, because you are in telecom field, sir, since very year. You know that uh, the basic functionality of any telecom solution is to both receive call and dial call. So when we are producing product like uh, uh, dial Plus or Click to Call, which is outgoing or reception which is coming, we have to put effort for it to happen one-sided. But in case if you have someone or a lot of customers are looking for having a solution which have uh, both the requirement, I think it can be done from our basic solution, some uh, small modification or that. So we would love to hear those requirements and discuss on that. So yes, okay. it's doable. So Pratik, you're telling we can do some modification and make it, club it yes. together to have it you uh, know inbound and outbound as well why why not why not yeah okay. uh, uh, so, again uh, yeah his next question is uh, do do you have voice recording in s dial solution okay, okay sir, uh, the solution that we are giving as s dial does not support uh, voice recording reason being uh, uh, <clears throat> in 2019 google itself uh, issued one article where they said that uh, Android, which is the operating system of Google for, or the, the, the smartphones, Android phones, uh, uh, does not want to share any uh, data of the call to third party application. So, as well being a third party application, now Android being the operating system does not want to share this data to us. So, voice recording is one of the data which cannot be shared. So, basically, if you are talking about as dial app, there is no recording involved. If recording is the concern, we generally encourage our customer to go for the as the plus uh, product where clicking, which is like a click to call, which I explained. An Android app, you make a click and the cloud initiates the call, two lakh call, one to the teleconer and second to the customer. And because our telephony solution is installed in the cloud, we can record it over there and we can offer the uh, a nice quality recording to the customer to listen. Uh, I hope, okay, fine. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank so, you, Mr. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Pratik, for the uh, answering the query. Uh, let's move to the uh, next question. The question is for Mr. Ebenezer. Ebenezer, you can unmute yourself and uh, we can start discussing. Uh, the question is, can you do a bulk 
work SMS on the cloud? If yes, how does it take? Okay. Okay. Uh, hi, Habinu, sir. You are there. It would be nice that if we can see you. Okay. So I think the question is bulk SMS. See, we are not providing a bulk SMS platform as such, but in the presentation, we have mentioned SMS as an integration possibility because uh, there are a number of companies in each respective countries providing bulk SMS, especially the service providers and uh, you know, the value-added service providers, those who take care of bulk SMS. So normally, our solutions are pure telephony solutions. And what we do is that integrate with bulk, bulk SMS providers. For example, there can be some SMS requirement. For example, you know, in a typical call center, after a call is ended, then a, a message, SMS has to go. So then we do an API integration. So we have the APIs available to integrate with SMS uh, platform where it will trigger and you know, send the SMS. So our platform, uh, we don't have a platform which can send or we can provide you as a bulk SMS, but we integrate with other bulk SMS providers to send SMS based on the call activities. I think uh, Binish, uh, Ebenezer has written in the chat that he lost his connection and he's just joining. So, okay. Okay. Uh, so maybe we can answer his questions later on once he comes yes. back. Ebenezer, uh, are you currently available? Um, good. Yeah, 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 good, good. Yeah, yeah, so I was trying to find out if you're able to do pop SMS on cloud telephony, but I couldn't uh, get the response that you shared earlier because I lost my connection. So I don't know if you can read what you okay. shared. Yeah, no problem. Uh, let me let me repeat. Uh, you can hear me, right? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah. So Ebenezer, what I'm trying to say, so we don't have a platform for bulk SMS. So we don't have a service of bulk SMS. What we normally do is that, see, there are bulk SMS providers in the market, service providers and value-added service providers. So we integrate with their bulk SMS platform. For example, ours is purely a calling solution, but we do integrations, like, like we do integration with CRM. We can do integration with SMS. See, for example, uh, in a call center scenario, right? some customers will say, once the call is ended, a, a, a feedback SMS should go to the customer. So this SMS trigger should happen from the call center solution because the call is ap happens uh, in the call center. So we have the APIs to integrate with bulk SMS provider platforms. So we trigger those APIs whenever required based on the programming to send the pre-configured SMS. So we don't have a SMS platform as such, but we integrate with any SMS providers. Okay. All right. I think your, your point is well noted, and uh, thank you for that clarification as well. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Ebnezer. Thank you, Mr. Benesh. Uh, the next question is uh, from Mr. Chana Kesava. Uh, Mr. Chana Kesava, you can unmute and start your video. Uh, his question is, what is your our solution for registering customer complaints for a be uh, business service via phone or web, web or application? What is our solution for registering, registering customer, customer complaint? Uh, we are not very much clear about your solution. Mr. Keshiba, can you just uh, elaborate yeah. your question? Uh, see, uh, okay, maybe I can uh, yeah. add to that. Yeah, yeah. See, basically, we have solutions where, uh, for example, IVR is provided, and then uh, you know people can uh, uh, log into the IVR or people can call the IVR, then maybe... Uh, if there is any complaint, uh, it will be asked what is your uh, user ID and uh, what are the complaints. And then this complaint will be regarded as a voicemail uh, or a voice message. And then a ticket is being created. So uh, then further the organization will process the ticket. You know, the next day somebody can come, he will log into the CRM and uh, process the ticket. So these type of solution we have provided to for uh, some customers. Okay. Yeah. Is, is that yeah. what uh, you were asking for? Uh, Mr. Uh, yeah. Mr. Kesava, is it uh, your query has been answered? Or can you, if you're online? Okay, maybe. Yeah. yeah uh, sir, uh, his next question is uh, Do we also have a solution for post sales product registrations and tracking of product post sales? See, in this case also, see, it is not we. Uh, to understand
understand we have basically uh, the 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 telecom uh, platform or telecom uh, main telecom solution we provide that is customer can call customer can, we will call the customer then based on the individual customer we do certain customizations see it is like the earlier um, what i described earlier about the a registering customer complaint again uh, we can have an ivr which uh, you know when the customer has bought a product he can uh, come then the product code and product id and which uh, which shop he bought the this thing all those things will be uh, asked for the customer can feed in and then again uh, a ticket will be created in crm which uh, you know will take care of the workflow what has to happen post uh, sales product uh, after the our post sale service and uh, maybe annual maintenance and things like that so uh, with the help of customization i mean we also have a good team for customization we can provide uh, such solutions yeah. thank you sir uh, i hope mr kesava your query has been answered uh let's move to next question uh question is from rosemary can we have a copy of the presentation sure mr yeah. rosemary will share you the copy of the presentation along the along with the recording of this sessions uh next question is from mr rajni khan uh is the cloud ip pba is fully functional what is the minimum user plan one can opt for Mr. Uh, Rajnikant, yeah, Mr. Rajnikant, yeah. are you there? Uh, are you online? You can unmute and so that we can have a further discussion. Uh, Rajnikant, you are there. Long time we met, Allah, we have seen. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hope hope you are there. You can hear me. Yeah. So uh, the cloud is fully functional. Yes, yes. Uh, we started uh, the, giving it, and we have. Uh, the, Uh, very good i think uh, we it started one and a half years back so we have we have uh, scaled it we have a good customer base now uh, so uh, the second question is what is the minimum users plan once we can opt for so the minimum number of user we kept it at 30 extensions okay so uh, there is a particular reason because we we wanted to cater to a you know enterprise level customers because there are a lot of solutions at the lower end providing one extension two extension so we don't want to uh, uh, play in that segment we as always we cater to a enterprise level segment uh, our minimum uh, subscription is 30 uh, uh, users extensions uh, and the incremental so we have worked out a uh, product bundles and the uh, price list uh, which we will be sharing it with our uh, franchises and partners uh, very soon uh then you will have more clarity on that uh i hope i answered your question mr rajnikant thank you mr yeah. rasik oh yeah uh okay thank you so much mr binish uh, for uh, next question is from mr ashif abasi uh, he is from uh, rawalpindi pakistan he uh, he says the webinar was awesome and very informative thank you so much mr ashif he has a, a questions like uh, our mobile application can we start dialing with a mobile app mobile app like vc dialer as a can as a can work and start a campaign using an android app ha huh, okay one minute uh, you can uh, the question you say yes. about mobile yeah. application so can we start dialing with mobile app like vc dialer agents can work and start campaign using android app I'm not sure. We see that as a mobile app. Uh, I think it's Hi, a. Uh, Mr. Pratik. Uh, as if uh, uh, you're there, it would be nice that we can we can see you also. So the, yes, um, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. okay, okay. Thank you for joining this call from Pakistan. See, we yeah, see that. Yeah, I mean. uh see one thing is that what we presented the as dial and vc dial are two entirely two different applications vc dial is you know more for predictive dialing and uh, uh, more uh, very power dialing and as dial is a very simple application where uh, you don't use your trunk and uh, use the mobile sim card as the trunk now uh, surely as the vc dial does not have a mobile app directly but the 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 client the vc dial client the the can be a, a soft phone which is running on a mobile app if somebody wants to use vc dial or make calls from 
the mobile app either he can configure a soft phone uh, on his mobile and then uh, do it or uh, he can also use the mobile as the uh, extension both the possibilities are there yeah so uh, as if uh, there are two products one is visidial and the uh, the asdial asdial is purely a android app based solution visidial is basically a browser based uh, solution people can ask uh, dr kurian has mentioned you can join from uh, the browser from the mobile that is possible but there is no app as such for visidial the contact center Uh, hi, Mr. Asif. I uh, know your. Uh, no, one minute, Firdaus. Uh, Asif, uh, is is that clarified? Yes, yes, uh, clarified. And uh, I have a question that can work agent in a uh, mobile app uh, like your app, uh, as it that app that uh, you you tell about and uh, webinar about a uh, uh, mobile app. Your mobile app. Yeah, our mobile app is as dial. Uh, yeah. That you can use for dialing. Yes. Thank you. Sir. As a, as a call center, a very simple. we call it as a zero infrastructure you know type you just need to have a mobile and uh, download our mobile app the management happen the data management happens in the cloud then the agents can will get the leads to their mobile app and they can dial one by one and do the call disposition so i think that will be the right product which uh, you know you're talking about uh, thank you i can hear thank you Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Benesh. Uh, let's move on to the next question. The question is from Mr. Manjunath RJ. Uh, can I use my trunk line, which is available in my office, and your cloud application? Yeah. Hi, hi, Manju. Uh, you're there. Yes, yes. Okay. Of course, yeah, I'm. yeah. Thank you, thank you. And uh, I think you're you're okay. So, um, of course, okay. So this is uh, another thing in the in the. um there is a so we, in our presentation we were mentioning pure cloud where we host everything then hybrid model where you can use your trunk line which is there in your premise but we have a third option uh, uh yeah but uh, you know basically for the indian customers where if those customers already have some telephone lines they can shift their lines to our data center so we allow that our data center allows that so for example you know you have one pri line so you can shift that pri line to uh, our data center so you will be but the pri line will not be at your premise but you will still own that pri line and you pay your calling charges directly to the service provider but the line will be located in our data center so uh, uh, okay abhinesh uh, if in this case if i'm not able to transmit my pri line to your cloud Uh, how the solution will be work uh, is it possible that i can use your cloud application and my uh, trunk line in my office is it uh, possible yeah so yes that is i think we have already discussed that so if you don't wanted to shift you wanted to have your lines at at your premise and still wanted to have the cloud so we call it as an hybrid where we give the gateways or if it is a pri pri gateways if it is sip sip gateway if it is gsm gsm gateway then we trunk that with our cloud platform so oh, here the application is on the cloud and you have the trunk lines on your premise oh i think this is really useful i, I think i have a second question also uh, is it mandatory that uh, i have to use a vpn for my uh, people telecallers when they are working from home uh it is not mandatory yeah so it is not mandatory but it is recommended for you know better secure access so the beauty is that our cloud solution uh, has got an offering an optional offering for our customers to choose the vpn right okay. so normally what happens the custom the, the lot of people working from their office their home locations they will have dynamic you know ips and it it you know the internet mm -hmm. connections and it will be little difficult to you know uh, uh, log in if they have a vpn they 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 were able to connect to the cloud much easier on a single click and it is much secure as well so we have the vpn also in the cloud as an offering as a value add service which our customers can subscribe to oh great thank you thank you very much yeah thank you mr manjuna thank you mr uh, benesh uh, let's move on to the <coughs> next question is from mr oliver can i have a type of product catalog for these cloud solutions uh, yeah hi hi oliver yes. Yeah, yeah. Oliver, you're there. Mr. Oliver, if you're uh, if you're available, just, you can unmute yourself. Just, just wanted to understand you're from yeah. which country. 
Okay, not sure. Yeah. Oliver I hope here. we will share the product catalog of this cloud solution very soon. Mr. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, the second question is from Crowdman from Nigeria, uh, saying inbound or outbound IS dive will be great. I think this is yeah. come from the uh, Crowdman. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I think it should be Kisito or Peter. Yeah. It's great. Anyway, it's great, Peter, Kisito. So let's start selling it. <laughs> And uh, okay, the next question is from Mr. Rajni Kant. Uh, is there any plan for platform independent solution? One can continue dialing or receiving call from desktop, PC, mobile, or a tablet. Uh, Mr. Rajni Kant, are you there? You can just unmute and uh, just come online so that we can discuss further. Yeah, hi. Uh, hi, hi Rajani Kant. How are you? I have, actually, I I am outside. That's what I'm and not unmuting myself. <laughs> okay, okay. So I think uh, we need a little more clarity on your question. When you what you mean uh, the plan for platform independent solution? I mean uh, some clients asking for uh, uh, whether I am on laptop, desktop, or mobile uh, or any any device. I should continue my uh, dining or uh, other. Uh, Digital solution or IP vivid solution, both in both scenarios. Ah, acha. So you should be able to access across devices. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. See. Um, yeah. So. Uh, like, yeah. Actually, I mean the the, the cloud based solutions, uh, especially the PRBX, is uh, platform independent or whatever platform is there that is on the cloud, which is being provided by Aztec as a service. So now. Mm -hmm. For continuing, the customer can have any, uh, I mean, he can have an Android soft phone or a uh, iOS soft phone or a hard phone. So all these things are, you know, not dependent on it as Windows or Linux or anything like that. He can have a soft phone on Windows. He can have a soft phone on Linux. He can have it on Android. So PBX uh, purely, I mean, it is a platform independent. There is no specific platform to be used. Yeah, or in, or the other way, in all the platforms, uh, no. soft phones are available. And uh, what the client requires is only a soft phone. Is, not uh, as, is, so, not yeah. as uh, using as a soft phone or uh, uh, mobile browser, but is there any app so that they can uh, access or tap uh, particular those uh, features of this solution, whatever you are providing? See the... I mean, for calling purposes, he need a soft phone, and that is available on all the platforms or all the uh, you know Android. For the admin purposes, I mean, if he wants to log in and uh, do any uh, admin job, uh, it is a uh, purely browser based. So that also works platform independent. So I don't know. You do you have an example where uh, you know it is not platform independent? For example. Actually, see, uh, one of the my customer, he was uh, he was actually having one solution where uh, they can use their mobile phone for this uh, for calling purpose or uh, uh, re receiving call also. But at the same time, when he's not using phone, they can use their uh, PC, uh, I mean, laptops in the office for the same purpose. Yeah, okay. So in the laptop, he will have uh, some soft phone configured, no? Yeah, maybe uh, they will have uh, some soft phone, but uh, what about yeah. the phone, mobile phone, and or uh, a tab in, in that case? <clears throat> mobile phone, you can install the soft phone and create the extension, right? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, somewhat is it is it, this can be done for IPPBX, but uh, what about uh, Visidial? Call center. Visidial? See the yeah. Visidial, yeah. So the the, the Visidial is a different application. Uh, see, the Visidial is not an app-based, it is a browser-based uh, solution. Yeah. People can even open from mobile browser, but the but but because it's a bigger application, right? It has got a yeah, lot yeah. of fields, yeah, everything. That, I understand. It's a, uh, the screen is very much having the, uh, other fields also. But, uh... Okay. Yeah, so, um, yeah, maybe we need to understand a little more. How, uh, mm -hmm. if it is a very specific active requirement which you are discussing, maybe we can discuss after this. Uh, this uh, yeah, sure. You know, sure, you know, we can discuss uh, later call on. And, under and understand how we can provide him a solution. But uh, to summarize, 
our ippbx is uh, platform platform means end client independent any any devices you can configure uh, it can be android or iphone or a tab or a or a uh, computer you can configure the extensions our ip phones right there are range of ip phones available in the market you can configure it when it comes to call center you know call center is a you know edge and interface lot of you know uh, details are the, there in that but it's a browser based application like crm or any other okay so let us let's go ahead i think okay uh, the next question is from mr john uh, what type of infrastructure is required to these telephony system to be implemented and how do we qualify to implement uh, he is from malawi qts mr john if you are online uh, you can just unmute yourself for further discussion mr john you are there thank you yeah yeah hi hi yes. john Hi John. So Hi. you are, yeah. So, uh, what type of infrastructure is required to this telephony system to be implemented? See the. Uh, are you? Uh, is this question specific to my my uh, my saying that we are looking for local partners to host the solutions to provide a cloud there, or or you wanted to see how our cloud uh, existing cloud can be deployed? Uh, yeah. Anyway, so let me answer it. So now. um uh the infrastructure for example a customer require uh, in malawi a customer requires uh, a cloud telephony uh, i understand that uh, malawi the trunk lines are physical lines right the trunk lines are has to be procured locally by the uh, companies and which will be delivered to their premise so here the hybrid yes. cloud solution will be the solution the application right for example if it is a call center we will have our cloud platform hosted the call center and we provide you the gateways you know the 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 devices to connect the trunk at local premise okay then we connect that to yeah. our cloud cloud platform so it it will be an hybrid solution a combination of cloud and premise so your trunk is on the premise and the application is on the cloud then the second option as i mentioned uh, see we can we can have a uh, if you are willing or any partners willing we can have a platform within the country where you know a very basic data center we need to identify then we have to host the application and we have to work with the service provider to have the telephone trunk lines then we can start straight away a pure cloud model in each countries in malawi also right we can give it the same way we give it in india currently we have the infrastructure we can have the same for that we need to have a data center we have to have the uh, servers available to host the applications and we need to take the 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 telephone lines the trunk lines uh little groundwork is there we need to decide the pricing point everything because it's everything with the local cost uh am i in line with your yeah. question or something else yeah yeah you you were in line uh and also about the uh, the partnership uh yeah so how yeah. Uh, how does one yeah. yes uh we will discuss on the partnership uh, uh who is the sales person in charge uh, you know in touch with you uh, john uh okay let me uh, just check his Mala name malawi okay okay no problem malawi malawi so okay perfect so now we have a range of partnership we have a franchisee model uh, in this uh, call also many uh, franchises are there so franchisee is our top uh, the, the the partnership who act as our local office comes with a commitment investment mm -hmm. and our hand holding is a uh, little closer then we have premium and case to case partnership models maybe we will not discuss in detail in this uh, uh, session this is a uh, webinar session so we will be connecting okay. you uh, talking to you or calling to you soon after this call to discuss about the you uh, know partnership models thank okay. you for joining and uh, we look forward to work with you yeah thank you mr dinesh yeah thank, thank you mr john uh, let's okay. move on to the next question it is from astex uh, from nigeria There is a requirement for a mobile call center for HMO inbound, outbound, and trunk is GSM. What are the possible options to get it done? Get it done. <laughs> yeah. So trunk is GSM. Uh, mobile. What is the HMO? Home. What is I'm it? HMO. Sure, uh, HMO. Oh, is it a company name? Yeah. Uh, who is this? I think it should be either Peter or Kisito. I don't know. Uh, if, maybe uh, maybe Cropman team. Yeah, if you are online, can you please unmute uh, yourself so that we can. Yes. Uh, All right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yeah. Okay. Um, is it on the line? Um. Yeah. yeah. Hi. 
the visitor. request is for a call center for a HMO. It's a health uh, maintenance organization. Oh, okay, so company. So they are yes, they are requesting for a mobile call center. Mobile in the sense that their agents can be able to assess it anywhere, not just basically um, assessing it from the office where the server is located. So I'm actually asking for the possible means for getting it done. Okay. Um, yeah, so I think uh, we need to understand maybe Asdial Plus can be one option or our IPPBX itself can be one option if they don't want the agent interface, all these fancy interfaces where call center has got. A very simple call recording, the reporting, you know, then answering call uh, wherever they are. Maybe the IPPBX can be one solution uh, because IPPBX also has got, you know, dashboards where you can see how many calls, uh, you know, you have uh, receptionist console, all these things. So, so we need to uh, we need to evaluate what exactly the customer needs. Accordingly, we can propose either an IPPBX or an Asdial Plus. Yeah. So okay. Okay, need... Binish. Actually, the, the audience the audience nature of the, the request made me uh, bring it here. Actually, so we can we can take it off. Um, so and take it off the meeting and then yes, I, I'll get in touch yes. with you. The reason ah, okay. is that so that I will be able to get a confirmation. But I can ah, okay. I reach out okay. to you then. Yeah. Okay. So we can you can reach out to us and we can discuss a solution. Uh, right. Before we move to the, yeah, thank you, uh, Kizito. Thank you. Uh, before we move, uh, uh, Firdosi, I think Ms. Ram uh, has. Uh, yeah, he has already posted his questions. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll okay. just read down the uh, uh, questions. Is our call center solutions will have to send a message and photos to WhatsApp oh, during WhatsApp. the call center okay. dialer uses? Uh, Mr. Ram, you can unmute yourself for any further queries. Uh, if you're available. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, please carry on. Yeah. 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 Hi, 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 Ram. Uh, hi, hi. So your question is that can we uh, send WhatsApp up. messages, right, with the call center? So social mm -hmm. media integration we do with our call center solution, where we can uh, we can you know uh, integrate with WhatsApp to send uh, messages, videos, and photos. Currently, we do it based on dispose call disposition. For example, uh, you are doing uh, a car sales, right? After you're talking to a customer who is interested yeah. and you want the details to be received. So they dispose the call interested. So based on interested disposition, we can pre-configure certain WhatsApp message initiation to his number. It can be a video about that. It can be a brochure. It can be some messages. It can be some uh, no, uh, media snippets, whatever it is. So we call it as WhatsApp integration with contact center solution. We can do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but 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 it is it is all uh, paid service because uh, yeah. What about uh, when we integrate with WhatsApp? Yes. Uh, is so yeah. Is there yeah. any limitations like uh, uh, sending only few videos or few few forwarding messages? Because I, I'm I'm only looking into uh, uh, what you call real estate solution where people want to use as a contact center. As soon as uh, yeah, they had good. a discussion with the client and they want to share a lot of information through WhatsApp. Ideal. Because everything cannot be conveyed over phone. Yes, yes, yes. So that is that is an ideal industry where this WhatsApp you know integration or WhatsApp uh, marketing is working the most yes yes yeah yes. so there is a cost involved uh, because these are whatsapp for business uh, where we have yeah. to integrate with whatsapp api so ideally they charge uh, a a what's messaging cost so they have something a concept called a template message the message which okay. goes first which is approved okay. by whatsapp because they don't want spam you know anybody mm -hmm. everybody you know you should mm -hmm. not be able to send message especially the marketing okay. or sales related uh, messages so there is a template message which will be approved by, by WhatsApp that will have a uh, separate cost, X, X amount. Once that WhatsApp uh, template message is activated, then there is a subsequent messages which you sent that also carries uh, a cost. Yeah, I think, I don't know uh, the, uh, the exact figures, but 10 paisa, 15 paisa in that range. The template message can be one rupee, two rupee in Indian rupees. Uh, maybe the after that the subsequent messages can be I think fifteen paise in that range. It's that not be. like so, yeah, it's not like free what we generally send through mobile phone. 
it is it is chargeable understood ha because it right. is an api yeah. through api we are api yeah. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. Understood. Yeah. understood understood and and it can be from the board board number or the uh, corporate number which have been assigned to you, right now i think we need to procure a whatsapp number whatsapp number here yeah. whatsapp number general whatsapp yeah. number from there the message can be yes. sent yes thank you thanks yes thank you mr binish thank you mr ram uh, i think we have covered all the almost all the questions if anybody has any further query uh, you can just unmute yourself and uh, ask the questions before we wrap up okay i think uh, okay so okay uh, thank yeah. you so yeah. much uh, yeah over to over to uh, anjunath yeah. yeah thank you banish thank you fedosi it was wonderful actually we everybody got to know a lot of things actually what we can do and if there is any limitation there is absolutely no limitation because we have answered the most of the queries and if there's anything uh, i out of doubt you have you can always get back to us and we would be able to service you but i can assure you this whatever is the demand from the customer astec will make sure that it is be fulfilled and i thank you everyone for being a part of this presentation and giving their precious time to us thank you very much thank you thank, thank you everyone thank you bye bye yeah. bye bye bye